this is what's over in Louisiana right now, and this is what's headed to Robertsdale in our neck of the woods here. So it's pretty ominous. Um, fortunately, RV Debs and I have a strategy, so we're, we're safe and we have our weather alerts ready to go. We've got our bags packed, and so we'll be we'll be in, I think, good shape, hopefully. I don't know, this is my first time in a storm like this in an RV. I mean, I've gone through storms like this in Florida in a house, but never in an RV. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this goes. So um, I just talked with um, RV Adventure TV, who are right in the middle of this right now. And um, they're, uh, they're safe and they're doing good. And you know, they're telling me, pack a bag. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. That's probably what we're going to do is pack a bag. So RV Debs is worried about the dogs, but um, we're going to take the dogs with us. So we're out. If there's a warning, we're in the road going somewhere. I don't know where. I think we're going to uh, um, the derail diner or something, something close. So, okay. Stay tuned. What comes right here? Well, well, that's great, you know. I mean, we're getting wind and rain right now, so God, I just, I, listen, our, all we got is a bag packed in case of an emergency. My truck's there. Just grab the yeah. dogs and go to the big building. There's like a, a huge Love's truck stop right like within a half mile, and it's a big building with lots of restaurants. I just turned on the camera, and we're watching the storms that are coming through lower alabama chico's just called to make sure that we we're okay i'm over here with rv deb we're hanging in there so he's he's recording hi everybody on on the paddy wagon <laughs> i got chico on the phone chico thank you for calling us with this storm because it's crazy up here oh yeah sounds like it Rosie's like stuck, yeah. stuck in the position and shelly just called us too old fart and she called and she's like how are you guys doing Yep. So. All right. Well, listen, I'll call you in another hour. You call me in another hour. All right. I will do, man. Thanks so much, Chico. Any storm that, la any storm that lasts like a honeymoon encounter is a good storm. <laughs> that's right. It's going to be blown over by midnight. That, that's pretty good. When that, that's when the date should go home anyway, That's right. right? That's right. Well, that's a real good honeymoon if it blows over by midnight. Yeah. Okay, let me give you a final breakdown of the evening. Thank you so much for your support during this storm. Um, a lot of subscribers had written to both RV Debs and to me, uh, you know, be careful, take cover, and you know, be safe and do what we need to do. Rest assured that we did have an evacuation plan. Um, both of our bags were packed and we were ready to hit the road down to the derail diner if we needed to. The storm actually broke um, into two different cells that went all around us um, and the majority of the really, really bad stuff missed us, which was a blessing, actually. Um, we did get a lot of rain, a lot of wind, which we're still getting, as you can tell, the rigs being rocked around. I'm going to hold the camera so that it doesn't get blown over. Um, it was a really um, um, interesting evening, to say the least, um, because we didn't know from one moment to the next what was going to happen. Now, I know there were tornadoes all around us. So um, I'm very happy that we didn't have to evacuate. Um, special thanks to Chico for calling in and you know checking on our safety and um, Shelly from Old Fart with New Start for checking in and also um, um, RV Adventure TV. Um, of course, they're in Louisiana and they were taking uh, the storm themselves. And uh, um, I understand from talking with them that there was an RV park there in Louisiana that had some uh, some tragedy and were took a, a pretty sizable hit there were a, I guess there was a couple RV parks here in Alabama that did as well uh, but we're safe it's over thank you again for uh, your well wishes and um, for newbie RVers I think it's very important that you take this kind of weather alert serious make sure that you have a charged phone make sure that you have weather alerts weather radios do what you need to do to secure your safety and don't be pompous Pack a bag and go uh, to a safe structure uh, if you feel as though you're threatened and the weather is going to uh, going to deteriorate further. It's a big lesson that I've learned. So um, anyway, thanks so much. Thanks for your support and have a good evening.